Good afternoon. This special meeting of the 73rd term of your Baltimore City Council is now called to order as a special uh, reminder to members um, of the public as well as the press. Uh, please ensure that your electronic devices are turned on silent, if not turned off, so you do not disrupt today's proceedings. Um, this is a very special meeting. We do not have an invocation today, so in light of that, we're just going to ask for a quick moment of silence. Thank you. At this time, if everyone could remain standing and please state the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I would like to recognize Mr. Darren Atwater. He is the founder of Soulful Symphony and was appointed as artistic director of the Monterey Jazz Festival um, and is the cultural ambassador for United Nations. Uh, Mr. Atwater's career has encompassed the roles of composer, conductor, pianist, record producer, artist, arranger, film composer, vocalist, entrepreneur, educator, and arts advocate. Tonight, he will receive the key to Baltimore City at a special ceremony uh, that we will all uh, partake in, uh, but I wanted to make sure that we brought him here with us today. Please step up here. Um, also, Mr. Atwater has been um, just a creative force, uh, not only in our city, but in this entire state. Born in Washington, D.C., but, but bred in Baltimore through That's Morgan right. State um, beginnings. Again, he's a pioneer, unmatched talent, and master of all trades. Um, he's continued to bless not only us in the city of Baltimore, but millions across the world. Uh, with his amazing talent. And with that, the City Council has a small token of our appreciation before you get the key to mm -hmm. the city tonight. Um, and it just reads, the City Council of Baltimore resolution, be hereby known to all that the City Council of Baltimore offers its sincerest congratulations to Darren Atwater in recognition of the 25th anniversary, anniversary of Soulful Symphony and your illustrious musical career that has rich, enriched the citizens of Baltimore. This entire membership extends best wishes on this memorable occasion, and directs this resolution to be presented to you on this first day of May, 2024. Thank you so much, Thank brother. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Now, would you like to say? Sure. sure. You're talking to the yes, entire sir. city? Yes, I know. This is a special meeting, so it's not all the bells and the whistles, but no. we want to do it on this yeah, day because it's a sure. special day Thank for you. you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, President and the Council. I'm honored to be um, in these chambers. I believe that the lifeblood of every city is its cultural organizations and how we sort of serve um, our citizens through humanities. It sort of thickens our intellectual cores. It, it's the tie that binds our ideals to our practices. Um, and uh, organizations such as Soulful Symphony that I founded uh, 25 years ago um, sort of nest itself and embed themselves in a, in a way that not only inspires um, the citizens that come to attend concerts, but the work that we, we've done in the community with master classes going into schools, um, you sort of are beginning to socially engineer the city and the surrounding areas. Um, so I've been doing this work um, for, for almost 30 years here um, in Baltimore um, with Soulful Symphony now at the Peabody Institute. Um, and just as a composer, we've sort of taken uh, what we've modeled here with um, Soulful Symphony in the city of Baltimore has sort of been replicated all across the country. And the thing that I'm most proud of when I go around the world is how the citizens have taken to, to what we've created. And that's sort of a, the, the engagement with the audience as well. It's sort of a call and response to the citizens who have sort of espoused and championed what we do. And then the leadership over the many years that we've been here as well has sort of been um, full stop, full throttle support of what we, we do. And, um, this sort of just launches us to, to reaffirm our commitment. Um, our arts and our cultures are an opportunity for us to sort of to center around our, our ideals. We explore, we ex affirm, we celebrate um, all of what we do through the arts. And some of our social issues, some of our highest ideals oftentimes masquerade themselves as entertainment. Um, so when we're able to sort of showcase that and sort of be a fountainhead and a spokesperson for the arts, 
um, so, sort of outside of what we normally metabolize in terms of popular culture. Sometimes these sort of organizations get sort of um, some hidden from, from public view. But with this sort of recognition, um, I, don't, I not only stand here by myself and for myself, but I represent hundreds of musicians who have uh, found their way in and out of Soulful Symphony into areas of education, into the marketplace, into the cultural industry, creative industries. Um, so the significance of this moment speaks to our presence in the city, and it speaks to the city's investment, um, continuing investment in the arts and culture, which is, um, like I said, the lifeblood of every, every citizen in every city. Um, so I commend you for the work that you do here. Thank you for your continued support of the arts and culture. Um, it's, it's important. Um, without the arts and humanity, um, we, we leave folks just to the power of politics and power of technology. And the hu humanity gives us a better sense of the possibilities of greatness in our own lives. And that's the um, sort of our, our mantra, our purpose, our North Star, our mission and our vision. And uh, it inspires us to continue the work that we're doing. So thank you very much for this honor. Um, it's the highest honor to be recognized in your own city for the work that you do. Um, so I'm, I'm deeply humbled. And uh, again, it reaffirms my commitment, not only here to Baltimore, but to take this beautiful um, gym, this beautiful city, the things that we've created here over decades and decades um, around the world as, a, as an ambassador and as an advocate for all we, all we do. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, again, the council truly, truly appreciates and honors you, Mr. Atwater. Thank you for never forgetting about where you come from and who you are and what we mean to you. So I look forward to celebrating you tonight. Thank you so much. At this time, Madam Clerk, if you could please call the roll. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Burnett, Stokes, Ramos, Mr. President, we have a quorum. Thank you so much. Now we'll proceed to adoption of the journals. Madam Clerk. Mr. President, the journal for the April 15th, 2024 regular meeting proceedings are on the council member's desk. Without objection, the journal will be adopted. Hearing and seeing none, the journal is now adopted. Bill signed by the mayor can be found at the beginning of page two of tonight's agenda. At this time, we'll turn it over uh, and go into bills to be introduced. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the first bill. City Council Bill 24-0521, Ordinance of Estimates for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2025, for the purpose of providing the appropriations estimated to be needed by each agency of the City of Baltimore for operating programs and capital projects during the fiscal 2025 year, sponsor the administration. This is the heart of why we're meeting uh, tonight. Obviously, this is our budget, fiscal year 25 budget. It's important to be read into the council. The, it was noted by the Board of Estimates this morning, and that's why we're reading it in tonight, uh, just to ensure that the flow uh, is, from a legislative perspective, is working as we go over the next couple of weeks. Uh, that bill has been assigned to Ways and Means Committee. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 24-0522, Annual Property Tax, Fiscal Year 2025. For the purpose of providing a tax for the use of the Mayor and City Council of Baltimore for the period July 1st, 2024 through June 30th, 2025, and setting the semi-annual payment service charge for that period. Sponsor the administration. This bill has been assigned to Ways and Means. Madam Clerk, before we call the next resolution, Mr. Parliamentarian, if you could step forward, dice real quick. We're going to go in recess for like five minutes. I'll be right back. We are starting back up the council meeting for tonight. Uh, just want to make sure we call in the right meeting. You're right here. You're right here. No. Yes, this is the 73rd
term of your Baltimore City Council. It's a special meeting on today, May the 1st, and we're going to start back up. Madam Clerk, if you could please read the first resolution. City Council Resolution 24-0218R, State of Emergency, Continuation, for the purpose of expressing the Baltimore City Council's consent under State Public Safety Article 14-111 for extending and, continue, and continuing the Mayor's State of Emergency Declaration dated May, March 26, 2024. Sponsor the administration. At this time, I move to suspend the immediate adoption of the rules. Without objection, the rules will be uh, suspended. Hearing and seeing none, the rules are now suspended. The, the body would like to call uh, Chairman Stokes. You gotta turn your mic on. Mr. President, I'd like for media adoption um, to move this um, resolution. That, that's it, it's been moved probably second. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the roll. President Mosby. Aye. Cohen. Aye. McCray. Dorsey. Conway. Aye. Schleifer. Aye. Middleton. Aye. Torrance. Aye. Burnett. Bullock, Aye. Costello, Aye. Stokes, yes. Ramos. Yes. The motion is approved. The resolution is adopted. Thank you all for coming to take care of that uh, important business. Uh, you can find the consent calendar in Section A at the back of the agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent calendar? It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The consent calendar is now approved. We will now move to bills on third reader. Before we do, I'd like to recognize Chairman Costello. Thank you, Mr. President. I move we read short titles for second and third reader for the duration of the meeting. Without objection, we will be in short titles for the remainder of today's meeting. Hearing and seeing none, we are in short titles. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the first bill. City Council Bill 22-0273, sale of property, 3750 Green Spring Avenue. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Costello, Stokes, Ramos. This bill is approved. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0380, Charter Amendment, Community Reinvestment and Reparations Fund. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Costello, Stokes, Ramos. This bill is approved. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0438, Mayor's Office of Immigrant Affairs Establishment. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Costello, Stokes, Ramos. This bill is approved. Madam Clerk, the last bill. City Council Bill 24-0493, Sale of Property, 1807 Harlem Avenue. President Mosby. Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Costello, Stokes, Ramos. Thank you so much. That bill is approved as well. Um, the following bills have been reassigned from the Finance and Performance Committee to Ways and Means Committee. That would be City Council Bill 21-0062R, the American Rescue Plan Quarterly Oversight Hearings. City Council Bill 24-0520, that's parking facilitators and taxes. And then Legislative Oversight 21-0003, quarterly budget briefings. Uh, at this time, I will uh, push it over to chairs. Are there any announcement from the chairs? Hearing and seeing none, we're gonna go into regular announce. Oh, we have one with uh, Chairman Costello in Ways and Means. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. President. Ways and Means Committee will hold a hearing on Thursday, May 16th in Council Chambers, 1 p.m. Council Bill 24-0520, Parking Facilitators and Taxes. Later that day, Thursday, May 16th at 1.05 p.m., Legislative Oversight 21-0003, Quarterly Budget Briefings with the Bureau of Budget and Management Research, Capital Budget, and Baltimore City Public Schools. Later that day, May 16th at 1.06 p.m., 24-0521, Ordinance of Estimates for Fiscal Year Ending uh, June 30th, uh, 2025, or for Fiscal Year 2025. Later that day at 1.07 p.m., uh, pardon me, let me backtrack. We're not announcing that. That's just a, a placeholder that uh, we will be hearing from Baltimore City Public Schools that day. Later that day at uh, 3 p.m., uh, again, May 16th, 24-0521, Ordinance of Estimates for Fiscal Year 2025. Later that day at 5 p.m., 
uh, Council Bill 24-0522, annual property tax for fiscal year 2025, better known as City Council Taxpayers Night. And then finally, Mr. President, on Bill Number 24-0521, Ordinance of Estimates, Budget Committee will, or the Ways and Means Committee will hold hearings on May 23rd, May 24th, May 30th, May 31st, June 3rd, June 4th, June 5th, and June 6th. There is a detailed uh, agency hearing schedule which has been shared with our colleagues, the administration, and posted on the City Council website. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I want to make sure. Uh, the two bills that we read in earlier, um, that the reason why we're here tonight, 24-0521 uh, and 24-0522, Madam Executive Secretary, if you can ensure that they are scheduled uh, and to be assigned to Ways and Means Committee, that was part of what um, Chairman Costello just read off. Are there any additional committee announcements? Hearing and seeing none, we're going to move into regular announcements. Um, the first regular announcements, I would like to give a huge, huge round of applause and shout out for the Dean of this Council and the Vice President of Baltimore City Council, that's Sharon Green Middleton. Happy, happy birthday. So I, don't, I don't have a little bag, you know. What's going on? Oh, she turned around. <laughs> if you know it. <laughs> We don't have the customary trinkets that uh, have been handed out for hundreds of years, and you guys understand and know why, uh, but this is where we are today. Um, are there any additional regular announcements? I always like to throw that in for the person that did that. They're smiling at me. Is there any other uh, announcements uh, that are out there? None? Okay, remember, Taxpayer Night is May the 16th, uh, right here in City Council Chamber, so please, folks, tune in for Taxpayers Night. Please participate. It'll be right here on May the 16th at 5 p.m. If there aren't any additional regular announcements at this time, I'm going to shoot it over to you, Madam VP. The next meeting of the Baltimore City Council will be a special meeting held on Thursday, May 16th, 2024 at 12 p.m. At this time, we will recognize a moment of silence for the 58 victims of homicide this year. Thank you for joining us this evening. I know, council members, your schedules are absolutely crazy, but this was an important work for us to continue to push the legislative process forward. There's no new business before the desk of the city council. Let's conclude the special meeting of the 73rd term of your Baltimore City Council. Baltimore, we absolutely love you. <laughs>